Hey guys, this is my review of the Plan Clips Overload Knee Pads. I just want to say, I really like them. They're one of my favorite knee pads I've ever used, and I think they're solid. My favorite part about these knee pads is how durable they are. I've been using them for two seasons, and they're still great, right? Granted, I'm a back player, so I'm not the hardest on them, but I feel like I use them pretty hard, and two years and no signs of wear, that's pretty good in my books. Uh, another good one is the price. They're pretty damn cheap. They're like 60 bucks. Uh, which I feel is very reasonable. Right now they're on sale in A&S gear, so I'd go grab up a pair if you need them for sure. Uh, I think they're 45 right now. All right, another good thing about them, their protection, right? You got this big knee pad with the ones that bend as well, so I feel like you have a wide range of protection on your knee, which is good. And then there's like an outer layer that's out there as well, so I feel like it's a nice, sizable knee pad that's like ergonomic. It's not like just like this huge pad right there on your knee, like a volleyball knee pad or something where it's not really that form-fitting, it's not that comfortable. So I really like the way the Plan Clips knee pads are designed. Um, another good thing is like the range of motion, right? Like it, it's since they're cut like that, it's like meant to bend, and then you got this big circle stamp right here for your knee. And then if you look at the back, there's a big cutout. It's hard to tell because it's black on black, but it's a huge cutout, right? So that gives you lots of mo movement. I find with the smaller ones with the small cutout, there's lots of pinching, right? You'll go like this, and your skin will be pinching. It'll be pinching. It's uncomfortable. So I like that. Also, I like the modular part about it. You see this piece? You could take it out. I keep it in because more protection. I don't really ever find a problem. But if you're like, oh, my knee pad's a little bit too bulky, doesn't fit under my pants, or it's too hot and sweaty, try taking that out. If you don't like it, just put it right back in. Super awesome. Another huge plus about them, they're machine washable. I don't know if like they actually say that, but for two years, I've been washing them and drying them, and they're fine. So... Yeah, they're good for it. The only thing that really gets affected when you wash and dry them is like their Velcro. So just try and make sure when you wash it, you just have the Velcro like completely covered like that. That way it won't fray as much. And also um, this can get like stuck to your pants and stuff, but who cares? That's all the good stuff about it though. So the bad, right? Gotta talk about the bad. Velcro. I wish this band was larger. That way it'd be count for more sizes, be more adjustable. That'd be nice. Um, I wish it was a little more breathable, maybe make the size or something breathable. I don't know if that affect the durability, though it probably would, so, I don't know, maybe they found the happy place already with a large cutout, but just try and find more breathability in it. And then, uh, when I botch a slide, I've had my knee pad slip down before, I realize I'm botching it and messing up, but if they had a way to secure it even better to my knee, that'd be sweet, then I can have my knee pads on, protect my knee no matter what, even if I mess up a slide. But yeah, that's my conclusion. I feel like these knee pads are amazing. Great. Buy them. 100%. Especially because they're on sale. If you have any other videos you want me to do or got any comments or questions about these, just shoot me a comment. Appreciate it. Thanks.